Once you know how to read large numbers, you're ready to learn about the different number forms. There's three different number forms. The first one that we're going to talk about is standard form. Standard form is a way to write numbers using digits. And standard just means normal or regular. So here we have the number 1,436,175,900. This number is written in standard form. The number is written with just the digits, the normal, regular way you would write a number. The second number form is expanded form. Expanded form is a way to write a number showing the value of each digit. And we're going to learn two ways to do expanded form. The first way uses multiplication and parentheses. So here we have our number again. 1,436,175,904. Since the 1 is in the billions place, that means that we have 1 times 1 billion. The hard part can be making sure you have the right number of zeros. So if I look after the 1, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine digits. So I need to make sure I have nine zeros. So I have six right now, so I need three more. One times one billion. That shows me that that one has a value of one billion, or it's worth one billion. Plus, the next digit is the four, and it is in the hundred millions place. So I'm going to do four times one hundred million. So now I need eight zeros. So I have five, six, seven, eight. Then next is the three, and it's in the ten millions. So I'm going to do three times ten million. Plus the six is in the millions place. So six times one million. Plus the 1 is in the 100 thousands place, so 1 times 100 thousand. Plus 7 is in the 10 thousands place, so 7 times 10 thousand. Plus 5 times 1 thousand. Plus 9 times 100. We're not going to put anything for the zero. Since it has a value of zero, we don't write anything for it. So plus four is in the ones place, so times one. So that is how we would write the number in expanded form using multiplication and parentheses. So the hardest thing about this is just making sure you have the right number of zeros. So use your number and use a place value chart to help you with that. The other way to write a number in expanded form is just to use addition. So here we see the 1 is in the billions place, so it has a value of 1 billion. So we would just write 1 billion. So I have billion, million, thousand, and three more zeros. The 4 is in the 100 millions place, so instead of writing 4 times 100 million, I know that equals 400 million, so I can just write 400 million. Again, you can count to see how many zeros you need. So after the 4, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 digits, so I need to make sure I have 8 zeros after the 4. And plus, the 3 is in the 10 million, so it has a value of 30 million. Plus for the 6 is 6 million, plus 100,000. The 7 is in the 10 thousands place, so it's worth 70,000, plus 5,000, plus 900. Again, we're not going to put anything for the 0, so we're going to skip it and go to the 4. The 4 is in the 1's place, and 4 times 1 is 4, so it has a value of 4. 
The third number form is word form. And word form is a way to write a number using words. And you write the number the same way that you read it. So we have the number 1,436,175,904. So we're going to write it just like that. And we're going to use words for each number. So instead of writing the number 1, I'm going to write the word 1. 1 billion. When we write a number in word form, we put a comma after the name of the period. So 400. Remember, I'm not going to put the word million until I get to the comma. So 400. I'm going to put a dash to connect 30 and 6, and then I put the word million, followed by a comma. Then we have 175. So remember, we read our group of three digits together, and I will connect my tens and my ones with a dash. And then I put the word thousand followed by a comma. And then the last part is 904. You always want to read back over what you write and make sure it matches the number. 1,436,000. 175,904. I notice I have one, two, three commas in my number, and I have one, two, three commas in my word form, so I've done it correctly. The last thing that we're going to look at is how to go from expanded form to standard form, and it's really helpful to use a place value chart when you're doing these types of problems. So here I've written a number out in expanded form using parentheses, and I've got my place value chart down at the bottom. So if I look at my first part of expanded form, whoops, I have 5 times 1 billion. So that, I know that's 1 billion, so that means the 5 needs to go in the billions place. Then I have 3 times 100 million. So my 3 will go in my 100 millions place. If you're not sure what place it goes in, you can count how many digits it is. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that can help you figure out where to place it. Plus 2 times 1 million. So that tells me that the 2 needs to go in the millions place. There was nothing times 10 million, so I know I need to put a zero there. Plus 5 times 100,000, so the 5 goes in the 100,000. Plus 6 times 10,000. Plus 2 times 1,000. Put my comma. Plus 4 times 100 plus 7 times 10. And there's nothing times 1, so I'm going to put a 0 in my 1's place. So this was the number 5,302,562,470. Let's look at one more. This one has it without the parentheses. So, again, I'm going to look at my first one. If I'm not sure what place that needs to go in, I can see how many digits it is. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a 10-digit number. So I need to come over 6 digits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And put my 6 in the billions. Plus 100 million. Plus 40 million. Plus 300,000. So there was nothing times a million, so I need to put a zero there. I'm going to add my commas. Plus 50,000. Plus 1,000. Put my comma. Plus 200. Plus 6. There was nothing in the 10, so I put a zero there. So 6,140,351,000. 
206. When you're working on the different number forms, especially expanded form, the place value chart is going to be really helpful for you.